Wood. Two, three. Oh, hello. hello! Welcome to Popwood Playback. Popwood Playback. Um, and, uh, well, we're Dirty Shed Creations. Dirty Shed Creations. Uncle Al. Hello. Camera boy. Um, so. Where are we? We are in Yorkshire, England. North Yorkshire, England, actually, to be more specific. The largest of the counties. Yeah, and what are we doing today? We are co post Not co-hosting. We are guest presenting Popwood Playback for Sir David Lyle. Sir David. Sir David Lyle. I believe he is the inventor of wood and woodworking. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you some of our picks from across the interwebs. Yeah. With your woodworking favourites. And also we're going to just do some kind of like a little quick project that I've had lined up for about a month or so now. Excellent. So what do we do? Do we just dive straight into it? Yep. First one. Who should we go first one? Uh, our first pick is Pask Makes. Pask Makes, eh? Tell yeah. us about him, Mark. Pask Makes is an Australian woodworker. Scrap wood challenge, scrap wood challenge. It's crap, it's crap, it's firewood. But some of the wood is good. This video is um, where he makes uh, a, a soft face mallet. Soft face mallet out of scrap. Pure and scrap. The final piece is amazing, isn't absolutely it? Absolutely brilliant. In a previous life, way back, I was a machinist, and a soft face mallet was absolutely essential for getting things nice and tight into vices. Perfect, brilliant piece of kit. He makes one out of practically nothing, pure scrap, and what he ends up with is really, really good. It's really a beautiful useful. looking tool. It's a great tool. What I really like about it is that he is uh, throwing some filmmaking techniques at what he's doing. He's making it entertaining. There's lots of little camera techniques. He's got a Funny little intro to his scrap wood challenge. Scrap wood challenge. Yeah, it just it's entertaining watch and uh, go and check him out. Boop. Wood. This is going to be our little pop wood project today. We've got here one of um, our dirty shed coat hook rails. Um, I'm afraid, and this is going to be controversial, I don't really like the black walnut that we've made this from. Um, so we're going to remake the thing pretty much exactly, but in English oak. <laughs> So we've taken all our furniture off our piece of walnut. Uh, we tried as best we could to not damage the timber, but that hasn't happened. Anyway, this is our piece of oak, our piece of English oak that we're going to use to make our new uh, coat hanger rail. Um, but let's talk about our second pick now, Scott Turner. It's quite a few pieces in this video. It's a big build. I counted 197 pieces that I had to manufacture. The project we've chosen to show you from Scott Turner is basically making an industrial tool chest. It's kind of a workbench top um, and then multiple drawers around the side. There's elements of joinery, there's elements of kind of furniture fitting, there's elements of fabrication in there. What he creates here, you know, is a classic example of you can go out and buy one of these units for like around £2,000 in the UK. He makes himself one and he almost gets that element of, because he's made it himself, he, the jaw drawers can be for a specific kind of item that is just a great project so there it is it's all nice and shiny and new um, I'm pretty happy with it pop 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 wood We've got the template cut out there. Uh, it's into the other workshop now for the band sawing and the shaping of the top to put those scrolls into the top. We're using a lot of machinery here today, but um, our next pick is the English woodworker. He predominantly works with hand tools, and I think it's really refreshing to kind of see someone that's still out there using the traditional methods and traditional hand tools. Uh, loads and loads of elbow grease in his projects, but they are beautiful. Check him out. Bob. Wood. My pick, Neil McKinley. Check him out. He's a Scotsman. I'm going to warn you, his channel, a little bit blue language. Uh, I know that there's other ways, like, oh, you get a jig for this, you get a jig for that. Well, you can take your jig and you can shove them up your Very skilled guy, woodwork, furniture maker. Uh, just check him out, basically. You know, he says things like, take a wee bit off with a chizzy. Just so you can finally take a wee bit off with a chizzy. I love it. Okay. See you later. I'm, I'm just no a tutorial guy. I think everybody should know how to do this. Wood. Hi there. 
cold today. Yeah, so our fourth pick is Matt Eastley. Young English woodworker, brilliant on-screen persona. It's less about all the content, which is amazing. It's more about the channel, so that we're recommending here. He makes some amazing stuff. He's got really good production values. Check out his workbench. It's awesome. Yeah, see you later. So, in the next episode, I guess we're going to cut the profile into the neck and make it look more guitar-like, I suppose. Hooray! Wood. So, here it is, Al's finished the, well, it's not finished, but it uh, shows you the direction it's going. You happy with it? Yeah, a lot more happy. Funnily enough, I, it dawned on me and I thought, when you see black walnut in England, you tend to see it as a veneer and maybe that's why I wasn't too impressed with the kind of finish we got. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Cool. Well, if you want to see us finish this project, come on over to our channel, Dirty Shed Creations, subscribe, like hit that bell, whatever. We would appreciate any kind of following or uh, viewers. That would be brilliant. Yeah. Uh, and thank you very much to David Lyle. Thank you very much to Popwood. Thank you very much for Tammy for doing all our pops. And yeah. Al for doing all our woods. Wood. Popular wood, all together like that. Friends. Unpopular wood. All on his own. Yeah, so to watch us finish this project off, pop over to our channel, Dirty Shed Creations. We're gonna get the iron work on there. That'll be going up live soon. We hope you've kind of enjoyed our picks because uh, we think that the people we've chosen for you today have, you know, all of them have got different things to offer, but there's always something you know, worth watching. A tip you'll pick up, a technique you'll pick up. There's some really great makers out there. And this has been Popwood Playback. Playback. And we are Dirty Shed, Shed Creations. Creations. It's